So there is a part which I, I will, I'm going to go through it, but it should have been your exercise. So the combinations of capacitors and we start with the series. The series means we are direct capacitors. If we add C1, then we add C2. And then we, because now I'm not going to be telling you how the symbol for the capacitor is, I'm not going to do that. So if this is the capacitor C1, then it is known that if we connect these three capacitors to the potential to a value B or potential B, then the charge will start flowing. The same charge will go through this, uh, all the three capacitors. So here, because of the current, current is the charge passing past a given point in a given time t. So the same current will go through, so we will be having the same charge going through, and the same charge will come out here. So we will have this capacitor C1 having positive Q here, then this one will be negative Q, positive Q, negative Q, positive Q, negative Q. And then the idea behind it is that uh, it's like having three guys standing here. So there is some particular guy here. Then we have some me here who is skinny and maybe is skinnier right here. So if we were to trans transfer charge from this side, assuming like it is a, a brick, let's take the charge to a brick. So they will give me a block, let me use a block. They will give me, no, give the other guy. The big guy can just get it like this. Then me, I struggle to get. Maybe the other skinny one will even struggle to get and then he puts it the other side. So the same charge has gone through the three guys from the other side too. If you have many bricks, then you talk of the heap you are making as the total work done, which is the potential. So that means this big guy is putting less effort because he's powerful. So this is the new one. Me, I am struggling a bit, getting it and trying to be to, to show that I can do without uh, And then the other skinny guy grabs it, he's almost falling down, and then puts it the other side. Down to me. So at the end of the day, the total work done will be the sum of these three. So the total potential will be V1 plus V2 plus V3. So the total potential V is the sum of the potential difference across C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C2. 
in three. There are a few, there is, uh, there are a few conclusions we have to make, and there are a few all the conclusions we have to make. C is less than C1, C2, and have this in your mind. Once you are having capacitors in series, the effect in capacitors The effective capacitance would be less than the individual capacitance because the effective one is the same as one over the sum of one over. I mean, the, so there is a special case of two two capacitors. Special case for two capacitors. One over C will be equal to one over C one plus 1 over C2, implying that C is equal C1, uh, C2 over C1 plus C2. But why do we teach you this? In case you were in the lab, and then you are doing an experiment, or you are repairing something, but you don't have the value. So if you got no value, then you decided to make sure that you can find that. So assuming you we are supplied with uh, five microfarad capacitors, but you need the ten. So if, they, if you put them in parallel, which you are going to see, you just add them up. If you are given, for example, ten microfarad capacitors, and then you need the five, so you can put them in, in the series, and uh, not, not see the other parts. You can put them in series. Let's see. So if C, C will be equal to ten times 10 over 10 plus 10. So C would be equal to 100 over 20. And this would be the same as 5. So you are able to find a 5 microfarad capacitor by combining 210 in the series. So you can't say, I don't have a 5 microfarad capacitor. Let's see if you are doing your project in 30. And then you find that in town, there are no 5 microfarad capacitors. Sure, you're not reading the notes. So you come from today onwards, you'll be sitting with Benson, Maria. I don't know whom you are, you, whose message you are seeing that you reach a next day so safe. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not, I don't want to see what you are doing, but from today onwards, come sit with Benson here so that I'm, I keep an eye on you uh, so that you can concentrate. <laughs> she was reading and she's like, I can actually say now, what are you writing to me right now? But I'm in class busy explaining. So, so you come here. I'm sure it will help you. I'll keep an eye on you. So if you are stronger that you grab more, you have 
Bota aí. So we got the Capasta C1, Capasta C2, and then Capasta C3. The three of us, the guys who are, who are transferring the bricks, who are doing the work. The same stuff, the same bricks we got to put it this side. So that means we got the, uh, this, this. But you don't just drop that. In parallel, we got the potential in the sand. You see this? It is the charge being the same. You don't, you can't even innovate and see how the things move. You are just grabbing the damn thing. And then when you reach and you forget which one is bad, which one is good, it's, it's constant. <laughs> when you reverse them, then you are dead. Because you have no analogy of how to make you remember the number. Pretty good, God. How are you? How was your night? Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it must be true, because you even came late. It must have been wow, then you forget. You just came late. <laughs> so we got the... Uh, I just, I just want to do some of these capacitors so that I get where I put the... Uh, the bar. So this is the bar, and then I have this standard just to make sure that that's the whole one. And so the bar B is our key of the bricks. And then assuming we have like a robotic one which just keeps sending, and whoever can grab, grabs. So when that happens, then we reach here. The current flowing high divides according to shocks, first law. When it divides, but we are not concerned about the current in this state, we are concerned about the charge. But charge flowing by unit time is always equal to the current. But we are concerned about the charge now. So the charge, because of being a component of the current that within a given time constitutes the current, then we say that. Charge will be distributed, so this will be Q1, this will be Q2 because of the capacitor, uh, then this one will be because of the capacitor. And then, of course, whatever divided comes back. That is the short spatial, we shall do it in that way. That uh, in the cross circuit, the current flowing in to a point is got the current flowing out of it. So the year it will be getting everything will get out and it will come back here, everything that gets, uh, gets in gets out and comes out again as this other part. So assuming this was our Q, which comes out as Q, then we shall say that the charge through the, uh, the charge divides itself or is divided charge is divided um, proportionately proportionately through the individual capacitors. Proportionately means that each capacitor Depending on its capacity, it will, uh, uh, it will get amount of charge that is proportionate to its capacity. So that means that uh, Q is total will be equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3, but the charge Q from the definition of the uh, capacitance is the same as Cv. This is one here, cross multiply. Q will equal C, C, B. And some of you are feeling bad, like, are we being true that he has first divided by one and then close multiply? These things matter. 
the moment you want to assume, you say, this you may end up saying that C is equal to V over Q. Or Q is equal to, you may end up saying Q is equal to. If this is systematic, you lose nothing. That's how a computer works. Or it does it so fast. When you type in the computer, it is, it is easy. It does the process as it is supposed to be done. But because they, it is able to do it very fast, it's like a uh, play, uh, I want to get somebody who will make a, a martial arts move. So we do it slowly, like I'm like, slowly, then we speed it up. You see us doing fast, you see these people are doing amazing stuff. That's how computer works. Takes the step one by one, but because now it is used, and that's how uh, some of you, uh, these days I get annoyed. You hear ministers talking about we are now in the fourth industrial revolution. We are using AI. AI, artificial intelligence, started when you went to school. The day you went to kindergarten, artificial intelligence started. Because now when you are going, when you go and do a test, you have to remember what I told. And then if you have done revision, which is training yourself to how to chop the numbers, you apply your artificial intelligence. The lawyers have to cite cases according to the case between the mayor of London and the citizens of uh, this whatever it is. They, dis they disagreed on the bills for the utilities. So if you compare with the Kampala port calls, we should sue cases here. That's artificial intelligence. You, you are reciting what you have known about. If you didn't know about it, then you can't apply it. That's why you have to revise. Instead of going to club, train your mind to remember what I told you. So that when I ask an exam, you know where the stuff is. Otherwise you'll be like, I remember him talking about Gauss's law for, for direct things. But what did he say exactly? Nothing. Don't remember anything. So, but Q is equal to CV, implying that CV, total voltage, total voltage difference, total capacitance would be the same as uh, C1V plus C2V plus C3, because the potential across all of them is the same. The potential across here, potential across here, potential across here is the same. The C Therefore, C is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3, and the conclusion we make here is that C is greater than C1, C3, C3. There's no special case about this. So, if you were thinking that uh, individual capacitance is all, if we had supplied you with five microfarad capacitors, you can get a 10, a 15, a 20 from putting them in parallel, and then you get your sum. And you get the value that you did, uh, you will be wearing a supply of it. Yes? So, so I mean that when you are comparing this, like the bricks should be the charge now. Pardon? The bricks should be the charge. So, like, the source is, is a key, it's a real key, and we are considering the bricks is the charge, not P. P remains the same as the first. So the the PD now in this case is like that heap of the of the bricks and you are transferring them to this other side. So they remain the same. The same the same heap will end up being the same heap on this other side. So I hope my uh, rudimentary example has made you uh, grasp a little bit.